Da hole, wohin soll ich? Dit, das, dit, das oh, das ich. darf dit, ich. Das, das, das ist das Ge So. Es gibt dann trotzdem eine göttliche Gerechtigkeit. Ich ziehe mit. Da. Hier sind wir in Rüxau Schache. Der Polizist äh, Hans Rudolf Kühni. Der höchst aggressiv, korrupt. Der hat es gern gehabt, Familie, wehrlose Familie zu terrorisieren und anzuhalten, ihre Kinder zu bedrohen. Ich denke, der Mann war ein, ein, ein schizophrener Psychopath, der sich irgendwie zu Hause hatte, sich schön und hat immer mitgeholfen, wenn der hoch ging. Und seine. Ähm, äh, Invalide Frau hat er immer geholfen, aber nach Hause hat er schön andere Kinder terrorisiert und ganze Familie terrorisiert und gelogen. Und jetzt, einen Monat später, ist er weg. Und was interessant ist, sie versuchen gerade wieder die Gesetze zu verschärfen, damit ein Pol und in den Zeitungen sagen sie, da kommen alle Art von Experten an, ans Wort. Die armen Polizisten, die machen doch nur ihre Arbeit und die Ton wird immer roher und sie werden bedroht überall und so. Sie haben einen 9 mm gegen wehrlose Menschen, aber sie fühlen sich immer noch nicht ganz sicher. Und mit diesem Fall wollen sie dann wieder alles verschärfen, ne? damit einfach zwei Polizisten solche Gesetze, dass man solche Gesetze macht, dass zwei Polizisten... Äh, einfach äh, etwas zusammenlügen können und ich äh, sagen, wir fühlen uns bedroht und hoppla, dann gehst du sofort im Knast. Das wollen sie gerade machen. Ja, ein Verbrecher war das. Ein korrupter, verbrecherischer Polizist war der Hans-Rudolf äh, Kühni. Und irgendwie gibt es schon eine göttliche Gerechtigkeit, dass er jetzt weg ist. Da hat sicherlich auch dabei ähm, äh, Roger äh, Fankhauser in Schaffhausen in Emmental hat es sich, war der in vorderster Front und hatte ja keine Kugel abgenommen. Ja, mal schön wieder ein Tür einschlagen. Herrlich, das ist ja schön. Alle Frustrationen von der Heime, vom invalide Frau zu helfen und äh, da immer eine mit, mit so Abspülen zu helfen, ne, so wie das in der Zeitung steht. Hat er schön all seine Frustrationen von der Heimat ja, auf andere rauslassen können. Und natürlich war der Tat nichts geplant. Ich meine, der, der Fankhauser ist, äh, ist in seinem Pyjama ist er noch geflüchtet auf der Straße. Das, das ist nicht geplant. Wir werden angelogen von all diesen Zeitungen und Medien, um einfach diese weitere Polizeistaat hier zu, äh, zu begründen. Ja, Police. Das ist die Weltpolizei, die gegen, gegen den Menschen, gegen das Volk einfach immer mehr Macht hat und immer mehr Rechte hat, äh, jeder zu terrorisieren, wenn sie das wollen. Und hier als Ausländer hat man natürlich hat man überhaupt keine, man hat überhaupt keine Rechte hier in der Schweiz. Ja. Ja, und da sitzen sie dann da dahinter. Ach, wir arme Polizisten und so. So, eine göttliche Gerechtigkeit. Sein aggressives Verhalten ist äh, bestraft worden. Am 24. Mai hat man ihn erschossen. Als er sich mal wieder... Wehrlose Menschen hatte terrorisiert, aus der Wohnung versucht zu setzen, die Tür einzubrechen. Und äh, am 9. April hatte der Herr Ross und seine Familie und Kinder hatte voll terrorisiert, bedroht, angegriffen, rumgeschubst, etwas zusammengelogen, einfach um Ausländer hier im Gefängnis zu setzen. Man kann davon ausgehen, dass 80% der Ausländer, die im Gefängnis sitzen, hier in der Schweiz unschuldig im Gefängnis sitzen. Die, haben etwas, die Schweizer haben etwas zusammengelogen und ja, man hat keine Chance hier. Schweizer haben immer recht. Wenn ein Problem, alle Ausländer wissen, hast du ein Problem mit den Schweizer, hat lieber deinen Mund. 
Weil sie haben immer recht. Die Polizei ist Schweiz, sind Schweizer, der Justiz sind Schweizer, die, äh, die kriegen dich, äh, du verlierst immer, die kriegen dich immer. Und äh, zum Glück war es dann ein Schweizer, der das gemacht hat. Und ich werde echt äh, schon Ross, ich werde diesen jungen Mann, die zum Äußersten gez ge gezwungen ist, ich werde den nicht im Stich lassen. Und ich gebe diese Information über diesen höchst aggressive und gefährliche und korrupte Polizist, äh, äh, möchte ich alle weitergeben. Weil hier werden Verbrechen gegen die Menschlichkeit begangen, in höchst organisierter Form. So wie die Schweizer sehr, sehr organisiert sind. Tja, und jetzt, okay. Das ist dann das Ende von Hans Rudolf Kühni und seine Machenschaften. Da liegt er dann. Oder seine, das Andenken an ihm. Ja, hättest du es lieber nicht gemacht, Junge. Hättest du mal lieber die Menschen respektiert und deine Aufgabe als Polizist erfüllt, so wie du das machen, soll, machen solltest, dann wärst du da nicht gelegen jetzt. Aber du wolltest es anders. Du wolltest schon dein ganzes Leben Polizist werden. Bleib hier. Ja. Und... Äh Also hier war das, der ähm, Turmstraße 56 in äh, Schaffhausen. Also hier kam der aggressive Polizist, wehrlose Menschen da terrorisieren. Und äh, ja, dieses Mal war das zu viel. Da ist er durch die Tür gegangen natürlich, haben sie ihn reingelassen. Und da in dem Haus, oder vielleicht da schon, ja, vielleicht diese Tür. Hat das Kugellöcher? Nein. Und war so eine andere Tür. Hat er sein, das was er wirklich ist, hat er da raus ausgelebt. Der aggressive und korrupte Polizist. Und ähm, ja, man kann ein Mensch, dieses Mal hatte den Mensch, äh, der äh, Roger Funkhauser, haben sie zu viel gedrückt. Und äh, ja, der ist ist einfach geplatzt. Und, äh, tja. Okay, das war. So, hier sind wir auf dem Pharaonenfriedhof, wo der im Heimiswil Pyramide und die Erdomination zweimal, die Jachim und der Boas. Da ist das Friedhof, irgendwo wird er vergraben. Denn und hier liegt er. Leider ist die Tür zu, sonst hätte ich noch schnell die Hand geschüttelt. Da. hans Rudi Kühni. Steht das sonst noch? Bestattungsdienste, Stalder, Rinderbach. Ja, na da liegst du dann, Junge. Vor einem Monat hast du noch meine Familie und mich terrorisiert. Und jetzt sind wir da ganz nah. Und äh, die göttliche, ja wir sind auf dem Friedhof, die göttliche Gerechtigkeit hat zugeschlagen. Du warst so böse. Meine Kinder haben das nicht verdient, was du da gemacht hast, da sie anzulügen. Die haben keine Vertrauen mehr in die Polizei jetzt. Meine Frau, sie ist kranke Schwester, sie arbeitet hart, sie ist Schweizerin, sie ist eine liebe Frau. Meine Kinder sind auch liebe Leute. Ich bin ein guter Vater. Die haben das auch nicht verdient. Warum hast du das gemacht? Von wem hast du die Befehle überkommen, als du 20 Minuten im Auto warst? Hä? Ich komme mal zurück, wenn es auf ist, hier die Bude. Warum hast du das gemacht? Wieso warst du so böse? Zu Hause Engelchen spielen und auf die Arbeiter der Gang Ho. Da der Rambo machen, wehrlose Menschen terrorisieren, die Kamera aus der Hand schlagen, sie rumschubsen, sie erniedrige, erniedrigende Befummlungen, Befummlungen, 
unterziehe und dann noch etwas zusammenlüge, dass der Ausländer aggressiv wäre, was überhaupt nicht wahr ist. Dass der Ausländer geschimpft hat, das stimmt überhaupt nicht. Vielleicht kannst du mich hören, Junge. Warum warst du so böse? Ich habe das nicht verdient. Man hat mich hier gefoltert, 14 Jahre terrorisiert, meine Kinder habe ich leiden sehen, so wie wegen euch Polizisten, die einfach eine Befehle ausführen und exekutieren, ohne euch daran zu interessieren, dass, was ihr genau tut. Warum? Wieso habt ihr so einen Hass auf andere Menschen? Ja? Und es war mir deutlich, dass du da deinen Hass während mehr als 30 Minuten über mich und meine Familie übergehen ließ, war es mir deutlich. Und warum? Warum haben Schweizer so einen Hass auf andere? Da liegst du, Junge. Hast du noch Nachbarn? Nein, kein Nachbarn. Leer. Ne, dann komme ich mal zurück. Kann ich dir noch die Hand schütteln? Wieso warst du so böse? Ja. Also hier das Pharaonenfriedhof. Und mein letzter Blick: Pyramide mit Erddomination. On May 11th, 2015, Sean Ross got sentenced again by the Swiss Nazi monsters to 220 days in prison, which is almost a year, as a criminal for expressing himself in his YouTube videos about the Swiss crimes against humanity and about the terror, lies and violence of the Swiss fascist police against him and his family and also against other immigrants in general. The Swiss Nazi police has announced to kill him and he will be tortured again as the Swiss monster has already done so before by code O2T oxygen deprivation. So if you don't hear from him anymore, you all know what happened. Silence up for good and eliminated by Swissy. He has been asking for help on YouTube against the Swiss Nazi terror, which has lasted for 18 years now. And he tried so on YouTube for almost five years. But no help has come. Swissy can do whatever they want. And nobody will ever stop him. There you can see, 180 days in prison, plus 40 days, Freiheitsstrafe, that means uh, take away your liberty. And so that's almost a year, that's 220 days. And why? You know, Verleumdung, that means slander. So, you know, the police, the Swiss police, and there are three, wit three witnesses, they have no proof at all, you know. They lied things together to put me in prison and you all have seen that violent cop who fortunately is not there anymore. Uh, he lied things together and if you and if you know if you say something about it on YouTube and say well this is not true. The guy was lying, he was corrupt and he was a psychopath. He was violent, you could all see this, you know. Then They'll sentence you to almost a year for slander. So they can lie things together, Swissy does, that's okay. But you, as an immigrant, you're not allowed to say anything about it. Then they say, well, he did slander for telling out the truth, you know. Second, beschimpfung, that means swearing. Well, you all see, I don't swear. You know, I, you know, I, I, I'd rather do things intellectually, you know, find a good word for things, you know, instead of swearing. I, I don't even do swearing. And on that day, when we got arrested and attacked by those two Swiss fascist cops, 
Um, I certainly did not swear. It's all a, a lie, you know, to keep me away, to silence me up, you know. To, to... And here it says disobedience, ungehorsam. So that means disobedience against Swissy. They want you to be obedient, you know, because they say you're a foreigner, you're here in our country, and um, there are no more rules, you know, you don't have any rights. So you just be obedient and shut up because you're an immigrant. It's the way they think, you know. And it's what they even say. I was disobedient because I talk in the Swiss dictatorship. Well, you all see my other videos. So I'll show you the whole paper. Here. This is how far they go, you know. This is the main enemy of mankind, where all the banks are, and it was founded by the Templars. Just look at what the things they do. These are not honest people. You know, they finance the Second World War, and it says, Die Staatsanwältin E. Marti. That's the, um, the state's attorney. Anwältin, so it means as a woman, without doubt as sisters of Isis, you know. So, and then here are the other pages. There. Well, I start at the top. There you go. It's about YouTube. You can all read it here. It's about YouTube, you know. It's a mafia, really. Switzerland is a mafia. They've never been anything else since the beginning in, in the last year of the Crusades, 1291. And they blackmailed me. You know, first they gave me the possibility to take away my videos and say, well, if not, we're going to punish you. You know, just like a mafia. It says, you know, it's all about YouTube, here, YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's a dictatorship and they kill people. They have murdered many people, as they did recently with that young Turk who was killed by Swissy. He was not the one who was violent. So nobody will ever do anything against them. And um, they rule the world, believe me. Swissy does. This is Octogon. So, bye bye for now. It was good knowing you. No more comment. I'm done talking.
I'm Regina Loy. I'm the wife from Sean Ross and mother uh, for our children. I'm working as a nurse and a naturopath. I just try to tell you in a few words how my uh, experience are with, during the time where I live with Sean. My husband is a nice, lovely person. He tried to give the word answers how the things turn how they do. But with this try to became a lot of but with this try he became a lot of stones and rocks of his way. These rocks and stones make him difficult to live how he feel to. This situation now is really heavy for all of us in this family. The situation with the policemen for more than three years have found now the top. They needed all this time for change to find how they can change the lie into a, one of the thousands of laws. But one thing have never changed, it is a lie. My man is not a criminal person, I know it, because I would never stay with him such a long time if it would be another way around. All in, in this past time, the association done a lot with much energy to put him out, put, but what have they done for helping, for finding his place in this association? We would like just to live together as a family, because we need him. Okay? Yeah, you said they started to terrorize me because of the... Um, what, can you tell it by yourself now? You said you would? It's just that the point uh, on this time for more than three years, what, where the policeman ar arrested us. Um, he was more than a half an hour in, in his car. So that was on April the 8th, 2011, 11 hours and 40 minutes, so about half past 11 in the morning, in Bergdorf. Yeah. He stays a long time in his car and when he came out he, he, he would be changed. He, um, he tried to take your camera away. He would. Uh, he changed to be ag aggressive, and he tried to hit you and hit you. And all because nothing. Because you, you was really really kind before. You try, You say hello to the police officer. You shake him the hand, and so on. And he just reagates. Re he just change because maybe he became his order how they have to do after he, t um, he came out of his car yeah he hit you did he lie yeah he lied because he, he's uh, he told after that you would be aggressive and so on because but the other way around, what the reason he he would be aggressive, not you. So at the moment when when you were there, did he lie too? I mean, uh, he, he said that he said you're gonna have a complaint for threatening me. Is is that a lie? Did he lie? I mean, wasn't it the other way around? He threatened me. Yeah, sure. Because you 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 was friendly, you was um, correct. So he pushed me. He hits me, and what did I do? You say hello and you shake him. I, I didn't do anything, no. didn't I? No. That's why. He I didn't defend myself. I, I had to have myself hit by these yeah. aggressive cops. Eh? That's why I told you they need more than three years to change a lie or, or to, try, uh, to try to change yeah. a lie. So that was Hans Rudolf Kuni and the other one was Erika Kunz. Yeah. Okay. So you just said that the. Um, uh, they're doing this because I'm telling the world about the uh, on YouTube about things but that's only the last four years I've been on YouTube and actually I've been on YouTube because uh, because of this Swiss terror I started to think and um, I'm asking for help but there is no help you get only more terror if you open up your mouth and uh, that's why I started it so we have been together for 15 years so that leaves open another 11 years did they terrorize me in this time? Did they put yeah. me in prison? 
They don't help you, they put you out wherever they can. Yeah, so the reason is not that I do my YouTube videos, they no. already did it before. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so the policemen, they are liars. Yeah. They just lied. You were there, you heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why do you think, you're, sorry, you already told me, uh, they're doing this to, to put me as an immigrant, to put me away in prison. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are they terrorizing your whole family? I mean, do you need me here? Yeah, that's why I told we need you to stay, that you can stay with us. Because when I'm working, you look after the little child. And that's really, um, that's really, uh, yeah. You have to stay here because you have you, you are part of us. You're part of this family. So they're not just terrorizing me, but they're terrorizing the whole family. No, because I, I see how, how you have to live, how you feel and so on. That's why they terrorize the whole family. Yeah. No. Uh, can I just go outside and walk around and go and play some soccer with the boys or? No, you have to. Yeah, that's... I think it's not it's not possible at the moment. Yeah, so I've been like a prisoner here for three and a half years then. Mm. Yeah, is there anything else you'd like to say here? No. You want to ask for help because the, the, the system here in Switzerland doesn't work apparently. Mm. So we got only YouTube left, you know, and the transparency. You want to ask for help for somebody else because here there are a bunch of liars. If it give, gives help, it yeah, would be a really, really emergency. Yeah? So this is my son, he's almost, uh, my younger son, he's almost uh, 13 years old. Um, can you tell me what your name is? Rivan. And how old are you? Twelve years. Uh, do you understand English? Yes. Yeah, so he's having English in school. So you remember on April the 8th, 2011 at 11 hours and 40 minutes, so half past 11 roughly, in Bergdorf. Um, did the policeman, did he, did he hit me? Yes. Was he aggressive? Yes. Um, did you see him going into his car and going on and, and being on the telephone for about half an hour? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have still any uh, confidence in the police? Um, no, wait a minute. Um, it's maybe a bit complicated. Yeah, so, um, do you still have any confidence in the Swiss police? No. Do you want, for, do you want to ask for help here to the international community so the Swiss terror will stop? Yes. Okay. Well, his English is he's just learning, so... So this is my eldest son here, the one I can still see, he's living with us, he's 14 years old and a half, he's about, he's more than six feet tall, wow, um, his name is, uh, well, what is your name? Killian. Okay, that's a Celtic name. Uh, how old are you? 14 years old. Yeah, and a half. Yeah. And Doesn't half. matter. Yeah. Um, what happened on the day, what, how can you remember that, the day like three and a half years ago on, on April the 8th, 2011, at about half past 11 in the morning when, with the two policemen? Did they, uh, did they hit me? Or, yes. or did, did the one hit me there? Yeah, they do. Was he aggressive? Where? Uh, how did I... Um, Behave? Did I say Z? Was I polite to him? Yes, that's true. Uh, did I uh, did I shake his hands? Yeah, also. 
Uh, then he went into the car. What did he do in the car? Um, they call and became the spoke, yeah. Yeah, so he was on the telephone in the car? Exactly. How long was he in the car? Uh, um, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Could be. Maybe, yeah. Half an hour, 40 minutes, yeah. And all this time, uh, what did we have to do? What did you, you know? Wait in the car. Yeah. yeah. Was it hot? Very. Yeah. And um, was mommy pregnant? Was she having the baby? Yeah. Yeah. They, and the police, they didn't care about this? Yeah. Safe car. Yeah. Um, so this was the policeman, very aggressive and dangerous lying cop. His name was Hans Rudolf Kuni. It's, uh, thank God he's dead, so he can't hurt any more people. And the other one was Erika Kunz. This one should be in prison. Um, so, did the policeman, did he lie? Or did... Where? Lie, yeah. any lie. Yeah. Uh, later on, uh, we got arrested for nothing. Another time, in the, when was that? At the petrol station? Um. 28th of December to 2011 yeah yeah okay um, <coughs> were they aggressive as well yeah aggressive did they have what were they showing what would they have uh, carrying um, they want um, see my um, identify card and they um, walk around with a um, picture of my father. Yeah, you see I'm not a criminal, yeah. just for political reasons, they want to hang on something to me and they're walking around with my picture, you know, the drug dealers, the, the Swiss banksters, they don't do anything and the, ch and the Swiss child molesters, but you know, for political reasons, uh, Swissy, he's, uh, you know, walking around with my picture, so uh, I, 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 did, I decided not to go out anymore, you know. Well, they were aggressive, you know, like, you know, I had to take all my, uh, but not as aggressive as uh, Hans Rudolf Kuni, who was hitting me and all this. But anyway, they tried to provoke me and they say, like, um, are you on drugs or something, you know? <laughs> well, I never used any drugs in my life and they know it very well, you know? Before the torture, I never even drank any alcohol. So, um, uh, do you still have any um, confidence in the police? No, not more. No, why? They are lie. Mm -hmm. And they are yeah, aggressive. Yeah. yeah. True. So, all your life, you're now 14 years and a half, you lived under this Swiss uh, terror, is that right? That's right. Yeah. So, we cannot go, and, uh, go out and play some soccer, you know. Yeah. Uh, does, how, how do you feel this? How do you live with this? It's difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stress. Huh? Stress. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I know it's difficult because uh, you've got the braces. Yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Probably. And English is not your native language. Right? That's true, yeah. Yeah, but you're doing fine. Uh, do you want to ask for help? Somebody helps, you know, because the Swiss system doesn't work. Well, it works, but, you know, not honestly, it, it, it works for them. But do you want to ask help on YouTube if somebody help, you know, stop this terror? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Stop okay. this terror. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Alvina, it's my daughter, she's um, two and a half years old, well, she's going to be three soon. Alvina, hello. <laughs> and um, while well, you hear all the noise, there, there's construction all over, there's construction, there's a construction. 
and hear them. Sometimes it's so bad, you know, we can't even go out. There's a crane here. They're working on the house there. Up here. And there's a big, a big construction site here behind. I'll show it to you. So sometimes, you know, we cannot even go out at all because it's just too noisy. And because, because of the Swiss police terror, uh, we are not allowed to go and have a little walk because the police will come immediately as they have already done. Like last year, I think it was November the 28th. That was the first time in many years that I went out and immediately the police came with their guns and everything. They just forced themselves into the house. So I put this here. So, so they can't, you know, like storm in with their cars and endanger my little girl here and with their guns drawn and put some guns on my head as I already done before just based upon lies no reason at all so we're living like you know this is like world war two you know it's she's like little Anna Frank little Anne Frank in Switzerland and Nazism in Switzerland oh man it's blossoming here Yes, it is. They're building three concentration camps. And uh, if you open up your mouth about it, they send an anti-terrorist squad. I don't know where the anti is, actually. It's just a terrorist squad, a plain terrorist squad. They've done it to me in 2011. Since then, it's, it's almost four years, I've been under house arrest. You know, because they just lie things together, you know, for the criminal to lie the, the, uh, the criminal statistic on immigrants and foreigners like myself, you know, up in the air, so they can achieve more laws in Parliament. Actually, the word Parliament is French, Parlement, and that means parler, parler, that means to talk, Mont is for mentir, and that means to lie. A Parliament is talk and lie, and especially in Switzerland it's the case. You know, damn liar politicians. So, that's my little Anne Frank, my little girl Alvina, which is a Germanic name, which means the friend of the elves. My two boys have Celtic names, Kilian and Riwan. Well, they have been living their whole lives under Swiss Nazi terror. Yeah, they're quite fed up with it. They know how the Swiss police, how they're a bunch of liars and crooks, aggressive. Um, and uh, they will start opening, opening up their mouth about it. And they tell the truth. And as I put in my last film on Gure, Auschwitz made in Switzerland, they got their dirty little fingers in everything, you know, under that Swiss neutrality swindle smile so you can hear you know what a what a noise it is here so me and my little girl and frank you know sometimes we can't even go outside at all due to the swiss nazi terror I would go and out and go out and have a stroll, but then the neighbours will call the police as they, you know, as they do, and uh, then they come with all their violence and try to lie something together, you know, to put the immigrant in prison. Alvina, hello. Today, October 25th, 
2014, it was even in the Swiss newspapers that Swissy wants to completely abolish international rights and human rights precisely in conjunction with the three Swiss concentration camps they have built. Simultaneously with Swiss Nazi Ebola at the same time, Swiss banks financing the Islamic State in Wahhabi Qatar and actually occupying all key positions in the USA by their Swiss Octagon Police Blue Army gunning down Americans with Swiss Sieg Sauer weapons. This will open all doors for Swissy to officially torture and kill immigrants in their newly built concentration camps and apply the sheriff's, sheriff's law only. A thing they've been doing already in their typical sly Swiss hiding motors. So here's the newspaper's witness account on how the Swiss are trying to legalize their crimes against humanity, which until now they just hid while smiling like some serial killer. And it's a shame to be driven by terror to the internet's transparency and ask for help by presenting oneself and family like in a shop window because the system of Switzerland works like a corrupt fascist mafia. And due to the very high rate of innocent people getting suicided in the Swiss prisons I would like to state one more time that I have no suicidal thoughts, no depressions, no intentions to aggress or hurt anyone else that I take no drugs, pills or medications and never have and have no need for any psychiatry on Swiss Nazi orders. I have about one month left maybe and funny enough November the 10th is the end of World War I now celebrated while well, the beginning uh, 100 years ago. The next day on the 11th is the armistice as these guys are into numbers and occult rituals, you know, where they celebrate the death of nine million soldiers and, and, and the, uh, the Spanish flu coming afterwards with another 50 million dead before going for the final kill. I'll try to make some more videos before the deadline and if not, don't forget me and make it known what these wicked Swissies did. So now February 25th 2015, the incessant 18 year, 18 year long Swiss Nazi terror on me and my family adds a new chapter to their long list of Swiss lies by their highly corrupt authorities and the wicked Swiss mind. On February 20, 22nd someone sent me a mail concerning several articles in several big Swiss newspapers of February 4th, 2015, a few weeks back, in which Swissy as usual is telling lies about me and paving the way to put me in prison again for my YouTube videos, where the Swiss Nazi authorities are Nazi-like teaming up together with the newspapers as usual, just like in Nazi Germany of the 1930s. And in that those recent articles in several uh, Swiss newspapers, they also talk about a new video that popped up on YouTube showing that violent, corrupt Swiss Nazi cop Hans Rudolf Kuni aggressing me and my family, for which the Swiss fasc fascist justice department sentenced me and sent me a counter-terrorist squad for intimidation. So then a few days ago I tried to localize that video on the internet but couldn't find it thinking it was probably another sly trick by the Swiss police making that video themselves as they've done before with some text in 2011 in order to attack me and be able to search my computer, steal it and never see it again. So now with sly Swiss tactics they probably use that same trick to search and steal or search and destroy my computer in order to stop my work and sabotage my historical analysis about Octagon in the Alps. So if this happens, 
please someone help me get an old desktop computer otherwise I cannot make any more videos and will have to stop my work for good because I have no money for a new computer so if you won't see any more of my videos you know what happened and for that case I will publish our phone number so that's plus four one for Switzerland, three one for Bern, and then eight five nine zero five five seven. So plus four one three one eight five nine zero five five seven. I will put that in the links underneath the video. And it's really awful for us as a family, you know, uh, due to that Swiss terror to um, to present our entire, you know. Uh, privacy and our, our lives you like you know like in um like in a shop window here on the internet but there's nothing else i can do what can i do the whole system is rotten here it's swiss nazi prejudice and so then yesterday uh february 24th 2015 the mysterious mailer sent me the link of the video about which they talk in the Swiss newspapers. So I watched this this morning, and to my surprise, it was very decent and very well made. Where this person just used my very two first videos on my Chatsifrats channel here. Translated the words from German with English subtitles so you can all understand it. And with a few special effects. Nothing criminal about it, and just free speech and telling the truth. I think the video is very well made and in case um, it was not the usual Swiss police fraud, I was glad to see that some of my followers are backing me up with a more professional type of video than I could possibly made as I'm still such a jerk with computers and never really learned it. So here's the name, Inglorious Justice, Eine göttliche Gerechtigkeit meaning divine justice on channel Polizei Altraum meaning police nightmare good name and the video only tells the truth and in English this time well done bro whoever you are only now Swissy as usual is trying to make me the immigrant responsible for it for things I haven't even done thus trying to get me in jail again where they will suicide me as announced by the Swiss police on more than one occasion. So dear anonymous friend, could you please step forward and announce yourself and take responsibility for that really great video you made turning my original footage into a much better and understandable film so Swissy won't throw their terror all over me and my family again. Maybe you are brought in a country far away, so Swissy can't legally harass you. I'll understand you if you don't want to do that, and will accept while always cherishing you as my anonymous friend. And in any case, don't take the video off, because it's good, and I like it. And Swissy doesn't like it. The video tells the truth, in spite of those Swiss Mafia methods, and the truth will win. Magna est veritas et prevalebit. The truth is mighty and will prevail. I hope everyone out there will copy the video so Swissy won't be able to delete it and destroy the evidence with that. And this is in fact what the Swiss People's Mafia is doing. Criminal Mafia intimidation to respect the Omerta. Swiss laws of silence for no tongue to utter the unspeakable. This is the Swiss Nazi direct democracy when two Swiss Nazis democratically say you have to be an immigrant criminal. Then the entire Swiss Nazi people repeat in chorus that you are a filthy subhuman immigrant criminal. Now massively setting up the newspapers as well in that well-oiled Swiss Nazi orchestra when everyone has tuned in sending the Swiss Gestapo again, defining democratically the horrendous unanimous Swiss crime against humanity. So me, being a political target by the Swiss Nazis, I feel like some Jew in World War II with 
Two questions circling the mind. What will they do when they arrest me? Kill me as announced? They would. Or will I be lucky? Jews didn't have a visa to fly. I don't have a passport. Well, wait until the very last moment. What else to do? When will it be too late? When? What? If? And in the meantime, Swiss is organizing like a clockwork and democratically preparing their crime as always. Because if we do it all together en masse and the whole group, then bad conscience is not an issue. Thus, Swiss reasoning. This is why the prisons in Swissyland are overfilled with innocent uh, immigrants, just as you could witness in my case here. And first the Swissies advertise free speech and democracy and clean Switzerland. But when you actually use it, they beat you down with it so long and continuously that whenever you hear the words free speech and democracy, you automatically duck as in the beaten dog reflex. And in fact, in Switzerland, the base of all evil, everything which is not forbidden is compulsory. So free speech is actually a trap which the authorities can use to get you. And 18 long years ago in 1997, when Swissy first arrested me and kept me in an extradition prison, for one and a half month for nothing and nothing at all. Swiss Nazi thought to be dealing with some stupid immigrant refugee from Africa. But thank God I'm not as stupid as I look. And slowly inside me something developed that made me public enemy number one in Switzerland, worthy being arrested by their Swiss counter-terrorist police for nothing and nothing at all. And one day, Swissy, you would have wished not ever have woken up the core of a South African. Swissy terrorizes innocent people and their defenseless family and their children for nothing. And against Swiss banksters robbing the world, against drug dealers and child molesters, Swissy police does nothing and nothing at all. What the Swiss fear most is the truth, which makes them violent and unpredictable like the devil smelling holy water. Swiss servants, Satan's seed. It says police. <laughs> this is quite funny. Some immigrant worker here at the, at the, at the mall here put all the, the snow where the police are supposed to park. Nobody can park it except the police. Oh, well, we are immigrants, we don't like the police, you know, so it's the only place that just piled it all up. Near yeah, the mall. That's the, uh, the Mason sign. Currently, a new wave of organized Swiss terror is blowing over me and my family with several Swiss newspapers teaming up together with the Swiss Nazi authorities and writing about me in my YouTube videos as on February 4th, which you can see here, and February 5th of this year 2015, just telling Swiss lies, defining me as a criminal and even a psychopath. So this anonymous video was, was sent by the police themselves, you know. And it's, it's the same footage I use anyway. I mean, anybody can just copy it on, on the internet. And there was, a, um, uh, there was just English sub, subtitles on it. They'd done it before. They, um, in 2011, there was a paper, just one A4 paper, which didn't really say very much about it. was just after the murder, or the, not the murder, the death the killing of this policeman because he was not murdered you know he he was the one who was terrorizing others and it was an act of self defense of a swiss so uh, and then they they just put a paper there um, out of 8 million people living here they said well mr sean ross did it you know just like that no proofs nothing and because of that and my it's well the reason is my videos and the murder of this austrian guy you know related to the swiss banks 
it's all related to the Swiss banks anyway. And uh, well, you can, well, um, the anonymous guy, the mystery man, he sent me the um, uh, he sent he sent me the translation of the uh, the British English translation of the um, of the newspaper article. So I'll, I'll I'll film it in German as well. So it says, "Who sent the mail?" Who sent the email? The email with the uh, with the video. Somebody sent it to the police and to the um, uh, to the newspapers. It's all a setup. They did it themselves, you know. They just want to um, to stop my uh, my historical analysis about Switzerland and kill me, as they have promised to do in uh, on several occasions. So this was the newspaper of Bern, that's the capital of Switzerland. So this is not a small newspaper, you know, they're really, really something teaming up there, you know. And here, you know, they lie about everything, it's full of lies, you know. And here it says that, that I glorified the police murder. Well, it's not true, you can see it by yourselves, I don't do that. I talk very quietly and calmly, I don't swear, I don't shout, I just want to, as the system is entirely corrupt here, uh, I, I just want to, to, to tell the truth, that's all, and I want this terror against me and my family to stop. But it's in fact the newspapers and the police who are glorifying with this article the terror on me and my family. It's entirely the other way around. There are a bunch of Swiss liars and the twisters of truth. And the Swiss, I tell you, they're so absolutely sly in that. Oh yes, yeah, Switzerland never done anything wrong in the Second World War. Oh, we are, you know, with their neutrality swindle, bunch of Swiss liars. And here it says South African. Well, it's because of the automatic translation, you know. The um, but that's me. Yeah? That's me, the South African. You know, you have to go to prison. A, a cop hits you, lies things together at orders, and it's all related to the murder of this Austrian guy in the newspaper article I helped to write and my videos. And I have to get. I have to pay the money for a cop hitting me. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. It says uh, the video on YouTube. Well, it's not only this video; it's my my all my videos, you know, especially the ones about the Swiss Nazis in World War Two, and the proofs. Yeah, they talk about the email and the link, and it came. They tell it themselves. It came from an anonymous sender. They don't know who they did it. So why am I am I being indicted? Well, this is what they do with immigrants, you know. It's a Swiss killing another Swiss. A, a poor Swiss guy, you know, he's, he's going to be evicted and terrorized from his uh, from his from his home on the streets by this aggressive cop, and so in self-defense he killed him. He shot through the door. So Swiss killing a Swiss, oh, and the immigrant is going to be guilty. Oh, welcome to Switzerland. Charming, isn't it? So here's some more from a national newspaper, 20 Minutes, which you find all over Switzerland. You know, everybody reads this. You know, you get it for free in trains. And I think in England and, and the rest of the world or Europe, you find it as well. It's like a free newspaper. but So everybody reads it, you know, telling all these lies. So I suppose 20 Minutes, I think it's Swedish. Well, I don't think the Swedes know how Swiss Nazis, how they are raping their newspaper, you know, with lies and for political aims, you know, to attack uh, racist Swiss aims to attack immigrants, you know. I don't think the Swedes know this. So here it is. They call it a, a hate video. <laughs> I mean, where's the hatred if you tell the truth? Um, I just want that Swiss hatred against me and my family to stop and I don't see any other way so they show a couple of pictures here from my from my video uh, well this this is not mine but 
this here is mine, the, the images, and this is what the um, well, what the Swiss put in there themselves, you know, so they can nail me. And they know as an immigrant, it's it's a duck shot shoot, you know, so they can they always win, you know. They'll always win. Swiss is always right, even in international terms and after the war and all this. Um, yeah, here's some more. And um, so this is the uh, the English subtitles of the, the original text of what I uh, said in German. And here's some more. I think this is the last one, yeah. So you can... Yeah. So we can witness here, in 2015, uh, there it is, here's the date, yeah, it's just a couple of weeks back, you know. Uh, the same technique here, in Nazi Switzerland, as the Nazis did in the 1930s in Germany, with the propaganda war machine teaming up with the Nazi authorities and the entire people liking it. So, these people have absolutely have no conscience. You can see what they're doing with their ba banks and all this, the, the Swiss banksters and financing the Nazis and all that. The Swiss have no conscience at all. And nobody helps here. In other countries, you'll find somebody, you know, who says, well, this is so wrong what they're doing, you know, and who's willing who's willing to help. But here, there's nothing of the kind at all. They're, they're all into it, you know, and, and, you, and you cannot say it, you know. If you say things like this, they're all, you're paranoid. You know, every, everybody is against you, eh? Oh, you must be sick in the mind, you know. So here, this, this is why, how they lock up a lot of immigrants as well. So, you know, I, I don't recognize the system in the state and the, uh, the justice authorities, the police, the Swiss police, I, I don't recognize them anymore, you know, because they don't keep even their own laws. And certainly not the international laws. They're just a bunch of Nazi liars. So, here you can, uh, you can read the rest. South African, that's me, Zuid-Afrikaner. And uh, also, this is the uh, in German, the original. So this is happening now, you know, it, it, and it, this is going on for 18 years. You, you better not open up your mouth in in the Swiss dictatorship. <laughs> you know, here it says Verleumdung, that means slander. Well, who's being slandered here, actually, with the police lying things together, you know, and put to, to put me in prison, just, just lies. Who is being slandered? I'm just talking, telling the truth, and the video images are there. And, and my wife and children, they're witnesses, you know. They have no witness at all. They have no video footage. Beschimpfung, that means uh, swearing. I don't swear. I didn't swear. Why should I? I mean, with decent words, you know, you can express yourself much better than with swearing. I don't even do that. You know, it says unanständig. I, I didn't behave properly. Well, why not? Filming. Filming is not behaving properly. This is something the Swissy don't like, eh? And here once more. This is also February... 4th 2015 again in another newspaper it must have been in I don't know dozens of newspapers it's that important to them so this is in Thun lots of Nazis there you know and it's you know the funny thing is it, it's exactly the same article as in the Bernese newspaper you know and uh, it's all Roth Rothschild medias apparently and um you know, they, they just copy the same article. So, what's actually the difference with YouTube? They're doing the same thing, you know, like somebody copied my video. Well, they're doing it themselves as well. You know. So, this is Swiss direct democracy. If the Swiss majority says 
Oh, the immigrant is a criminal and a psychopath. Well, then that's it. That's it what you're going to be. And with the majority standing behind it, the issue of a bad conscience is wiped off the table. Since every, everyone agrees with it anyway. Which the Swiss newspapers deliberately and premeditatedly are trying to do. To mobilize the population into action against an immigrant and immigrants in general. And based upon Swiss newspaper lies to achieve their Nazi-like goals. So you can see the old article. So it's exactly the same one as in the Bernese, the Bern newspaper. Well, this is also the canton of Bern, the canton of the bear. Just like in, um, in John's Revelations, as in the Bible, you know. So... The rest you can read in the other news, but in the other newspaper, which is the same article. And this is the poor guy here, Roger Funk Funkhauser. And uh, well, look at look at them. It's this. It's it's just a duck shoot. And just before his appeal case in a high security prison, the, the same one where they put me inside as well. It's just around the corner here. Uh, they murdered him a few days short of his appeal case. So this is why they uh, no case will ever get to a European case because people get murdered before, you know. So first there's a case, you know, a local case in a local court. Then it goes to the appeal court in Lausanne. Well, you never get there, of course. And then eventually, if you're lucky, which you're not, which you're not going to be, they take care of that. It will go to um, Strasbourg, to a European court. And this is also why for, I think, more than 10 years, they had the Swiss director of the European court, Ludwig, um, Lucius Wildhaber. And when I dropped a complaint there, well, the Swiss gangster made sure that it, it, it never got anywhere, you know. They're everywhere in the world on key positions, the Swiss are. This is octagon. I made a film about this. I don't know where it is, but go and have a look. And here I am in another newspaper in Bern. Der Bund. That means the alliance. Oh, the alliance with what? Hey, eh? With evil? With the devil? Or with octagon? You know? And here it says, a South African, a historian. I'm very sorry, I, it's not in English. I, you know, I put in the links for you so you can put the, uh, the translator machine in it yourself. I don't know what, how to do that. The other article in English, uh, it, was, um, it was the mysterious emailer that sent it to me already in, in a translation form, which is not a very proper translation, but anyway. So this too, and this is in 2013, actually. Uh, here it says somewhere. I'll show you the whole article. Here it says. At the end of 2013. Well, I didn't even know. I didn't even know there was a trial case against me. <laughs> I mean, this is going on for 18 years. I mean, I, I just can't digest it anymore. And there's no hope for justice anyway. So why should I open their letters, you know? I'm a lawyer who doesn't do anything. Well, the Swiss are very sly people and lie and twist all the words in the newspaper articles against me and my family. And one can see how organized this process has been established. One can literally see through the lines and see the Swiss Nazi authorities talk and conspire with these media and all words leading to one conclusion without any spark of objective news coverage in it. So, yeah, here, I, here you can see the whole article here. Why do it again? Just a close up. So there it is from 2013. Well, it's it's about a year back. I didn't even know that. And um, yeah, they talk about the South African here all the time. And actually, I can. It says Kinderfecker. That means uh, Swiss Schweizer Kinderfecker. I mean Swiss child molesters. I, t I told the Nazi cops, you know, to bugger off and go and find some child molesters. You can't even say that here, you know. You know, they talk about, you know, where we are clean Switzerland and free speech all the time. But, you know, if, if you really actually use it, 
they beat you down with it in so long you know every time you hear the word uh free speech you you duck down you know because you know you're gonna they're gonna beat you with it again you know so apparently they don't like south africans very much and it's getting very important to it to them yeah it says south african and um they're just a bunch of lies here that's all the swiss can do yeah it says 2013 so that's about last year, one year ago. And here it says SVP. That's the Swiss Nazi Party. You know, the just the 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 police, the police director of, of the Justice Department, Christoph Neuhaus, Obergruppenführer. He's of the Swiss Nazi parties. Well, what do you know? Eh? Well, they all are, and even the left sort of left wingers. They all have Nazi-like ideas, I tell you. Uh, and here they call about it, uh, they talk about, well, I come back to it, they talk about a database. You know, they want to achieve new laws, you know, of total control over my case. And they know they're going to win it because it's a duck shoot. You know, an immigrant without any money, he can't defend themselves. And the lawyer isn't doing anything. He swears, what do you want, you know? So... They're going to win the case, and then they're going to bring it in Parliament, and they're going to have new restrictive laws, you know, to put people away before they can make a YouTube video. You know? They call it Querulanten Datenbank. Querulant, that means somebody opens up his mouth. Quer, that means, you know, uh, an obstruction. You know, an obstruction that has to be moved out of the way, and that's, that's what I want to do. Damn Swiss Nazis. Now they talk about that anonymous video that popped up recently showing uh, my original footage of that corrupt cop aggressing me, with this time English subtitles on it. So they're trying to make me responsible for something I didn't even do, which is not even a criminal offence in the first place, and for which I already got trialed and punished which another YouTuber paid for in November 2014 to keep me out of prison and not have me murdered in there. It's totally illegal and against all laws to have someone trialed for the very same offence twice, which is not possible by law. Well, oh, but Swissy doesn't abide by any law anyway. Never did and never will. So this is the video. Go and have a look. Copy it if you can. And here it says, a Tarantino spin-off on a video which got the South African arrested by the Bernese counter-terrorist unit, Encian. Uh, Heil Switzerland. According to witnesses, the SWAT team officers blindfolded him while pointing a gun to his head or three or, uh, as, the loaded, as they loaded him in, in the transport. It was a futile attempt to demonstrate power by intimidation. They were able to domestically block the video for a while. It backfired. Bore Unchained, Volume 1. More stubborn than Django. Oh. And mind you, it's also very much related to the actual censorship laws in the make by the Octagon. Well, how convenient, eh? And winning this internet case against me, the immigrant, without defense will be a piece of cake. And just another duck shoot. So Octagon can use my internet case for the political onslaught coming up to install internet censorship for us all. And adding up all similar cases worldwide in order to realize more laws for a new internet thought police. And, um, and of course, you know, you, you, you think you're far away like in the US. But mind you that this case here is related to the US and YouTube. And if there are more cases, like in Switzerland and in Germany and in France, you know, then there will be a, uh, the uh, consequences to the, um, um, uh, to the First Amendment. It's coming and they're working on it and they're using my case and another case. You see what's happening? So please copy this and talk about it and um, 
do something because this case here in Europe and many more cases will have a consequence on the First Amendment in the US. <laughs> So, and the newspapers, well, they, they, they love this. That's why they're all participating in, the, you know, this terror against me. So we can all read their, 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 their lies again afterwards, and only their truth, you know. So do something. Plus the fact that Burgdorf in Switzerland is a traditional hotspot for Europe's neo-Nazis where they have been announcing the various genocides of World War II for at least 200 years through the works of the Duke Hartwig von Hund Radowski from Bergdorf and now being read by the academics of that Swiss region like Swiss judges and Nazi orientated policemen and the Swiss uh, SVP Nazi police uh, director in Bern whose name I just told you. And it's exactly here where that corrupt Nazi cop aggressed me. And it is exactly here from where actual attacks from the Bergdorf Fascist Justice Department are coming from. In an atmosphere of Swiss Nazism and the genocidal legacy of the works by the Duke von Hund Radowski. Not <laughs> charming, isn't it? So go and have a, have a look at this video about the Duke Hartwig von Hund Radowski from Bergdorf, um, which I recently made on the same channel. The title in the recent newspaper says that I committed an apology of a crime and that police murder, which was not even a murder in the first place, but an act of self-defense against that violent Swiss cop. And in that video I speak calmly, don't swear, nor shout, telling the truth in a desperate attempt for help and justice, to have someone stop that Swiss terror against me and my family, in an utterly corrupted Swiss Nazi system, where we can witness that neither the Swiss authorities nor the Swiss media feel an urge to honestly investigate the matter, but rather consolidate their crime through more tribe. Uh, through more terror and in this respect it is them who commit an apology of crime it's the crime against me and my family an organized crime by the Swiss newspapers the Swiss Nazis and the Swiss authorities and the Nazis are in all key position here um, in which they are perpetrating this apology of a crime against me. It's all the other way around. They are committing an apology of a crime and not me. I'm just asking for help. And an apology of a crime is actually one of the parading horses of the Octagon in order to get new censorship laws on the internet as it actually is the case in France where after the Paris attacks of Charlie Hebdo, hundreds of people got randomly rounded up by the authorities on apology of a crime by that fascist Prime Minister uh, Valls, who is in fact Swiss and not even French. Just as Obama is of Swiss descent and born in some third world country where the only American value came out of a Coca-Cola bottle just like Aladdin from the bottle, so to speak. So, here in this article, which is very interesting, uh, I put in the links for you. It says, if Switzerland was a neutral country, <laughs> between you know, brackets, as they claim to be, they would not be home of to the state-of-art Onyx intelligence gathering system which spies on the rest of the world. In other words, the world's most advanced electronic espionage facility would not be housed in Switzerland unless it was home of the Central Intelligence Agency. So apparently this spying system is in Switzerland. Well, it doesn't surprise me and it won't surprise all of you who have been watching my films. And I can give you the answer of this now. That's the CIA is Octagon Swiss and it uses the same 
um, the same symbol as I found in the Jesuit church in, in Zolotorn in Switzerland. So this is Octagon, I tell you, you know, it was the OSS, the Office, Office of Strategic um, Service or something like that, of the First World War. And um, through the paperclip organization, all the Swiss mercenaries who terrorized Germany, Europe and the Germans and killed the Jews. Yeah, watch my film Auschwitz made in Switzerland. They went to the US and we know through Red Cross cross passes they went to Argentina they already had uh, gay mr. gay Edgar Hoover her, uh, same family as president Herbert Hoover on key position 50 years the director of the um, the FBI so here you go the, the director of the FBI is Swiss his real name was Hoover watch my film Swiss sleeper agents and the CIA is, is the very same thing so this is why the Onyx Intelligence Gathering System is based in Switzerland. Where the money is and where they control the world. I mean, you want more proofs? The Templars founded Switzerland. This is all Templar stuff. And they um, give the orders to the, that worldwide... Um, a web of uh, Freemasons. So the Freemasons are their political wing and the Templars are their military wing, just as the Cocaine in Import Agency. There we go. Together with Switzerland. So apparently there's some more people waking up. Well, let's team up, folks, because this is getting very serious. And here it says in the same website, it says here, CIA terror, Swiss terror. You know, well, that's where it all comes from. So here it is in Wikipedia. Onyx is a Swiss intelligence uh, gathering system maintained by the Federal Intelligence Service. You know, the SSSS, the Swiss Secret Service. Or the SSS. I filmed it. And uh, Nachrichtendienst des Bundes. It's the Swiss CIA. I filmed it in one of my videos. And they're the ones who um, who killed the murder, tortured the Austrian guy who wanted to uh, give or sell banking CDs or on tax evasion to the um, to the IRS. And there are some good people still in the IRS, of course there are. And um, so they murdered him. And I wrote this article in the uh, newspaper. And well, th this is why I'm being terrorized. Because this is mafia law. The Omerta. The Swiss Omerta. So this is related to the, uh, to the CIA. And the CIA is Swiss. This is Octagon. Of the Templars. It's all Swiss. Don't be mistaken. Uh, they talk about secret detention facilities uh, in Switzerland run by the Swiss. And in 2006, a Swiss newspaper, the Sonntagsblick, they said, well, we're going to investigate. Well, now it's 2050. Never heard anything of it anymore. So it always happens in Switzerland, just as they did with the Berger report on the Second World War. <laughs> just... just Full of empty, empty promises they are, just to stall time. And of course these Swiss lying newspapers, and newspapers in general, have an interest to censor the internet. So we will all read their truth only again. So in order to sell more newspapers and, and at the same time killing the internet by censorship, these Nazi Swiss newspapers, they're telling just lies about me, you know, to, in order to sell more, um, uh, more of their papers. Same tricks as Charlie Hebdo was doing in France, you know. The apology of a crime lies here, in fact, that these Swiss newspapers back up the huge crimes committed against me and my family. So there are huge, huge issues at stake. And because of that, me and my family, we must suffer as a collateral damage. 
Well, the real reason why this corrupt cop aggressed me is the murder on their Austrian guy on orders by the Swiss Nazi banks and my name in an article in an international newspaper concerning that premeditated Swiss murder. Which I explain in this video here and several other ones. In Switzerland one has to prove oneself your innocence. And even if you do, and manage to do so, they'll send you to prison anyway, especially if you're a foreigner. And here another article about me and my YouTube videos in some Swiss national newspaper, of which I d even didn't know of, but was sent to me by the anonymous maker of that last YouTube up upload they talk about. The Bernese newspaper from the Swiss capital of Bern dates November 2013 about another trial against me of which I even didn't even know about either there has, that, that there had been a trial at all. And here you can see this is uh, they talk about a beschimpfung that I'm swearing. Well you can all see in the video I'm not swearing you know but they just want to get me in prison and then kill me, just as they did with the Austrian guy. And they talk about Verleumdung, uh, um, that means slander. Well, who's being slandered here? I mean, I'm being slandered, you know, I'm being with the help of the media, you know. And this is, in fact, the real hate sp speech. When all these coppers here, you know, they're backing this up, you know, and lying, you know. Uh, well, the, this one cop uh, and his partner, they were lying and they all back it up, you know. So here's the hate speed and all the murder threats I'm getting in the internet and um, um, by the police themselves, you know. And it's all about my YouTube videos and that Austrian guy, really. So um, <laughs> they just twist it and turn it all around. The apology with a cr uh, of a crime is being done by the Swiss media by backing up this crime against me and my family and by the Swiss cops. Well, here lies the apology of a crime, really. I didn't commit any crime. I mean, it was a Swiss who killed another, who killed another Swiss. I mean, and the, the real hate speech is this cop, uh, Hans Rudolf Kuni, who was just lying. I mean, this is the hate speech. You know, lying, you know, to, to incriminate uh, an immigrant. Here lies the hate speech. And I, I'm just begging for help. Somebody do something because the whole system is corrupt here. The Swiss are just a bunch of stinking liars. I mean, I've got no other words for it, really. So here you can read the whole article. Um, so... It might be the same as um, in the other, here it talks about my YouTube, uh, video films on YouTube. Well, it's more about, it's not so much about this, uh, the video about this cop. It's more about um, my historical analysis of the Nazi Templars and what they did to the Europeans and other um, ethnicities uh, during uh, World War II. That's, it. That's what it's all about. So this was the end 2000. 13 and it was in again another newspaper but they, but they but they copy it all the time you know just on just as we do on YouTube actually you know it's not it's just all the same so here it says uh, BZ Berner Zeitung the the, uh, the newspaper uh, of Bern and uh, yeah so this really is a criminal organization and they have been doing this it's like the middle ages here really and the the nazi era of the 30s altogether and then here in yet another newspaper also of burn um they trying to get new laws in you know over my like over my dead body almost like you know so to speak so here it is, the same article all the way down. And they, there's a lot of more rubbish in it. Now here it is. They talk about a database, you know, like at the same time installing new laws for everyone. Datenbank, it's a database. 
And they talk about the, a guy who shot at the police, Peter Hans Knoebel. So they are comparing me with this guy who was, you know, who, um, who shot back. Well, I'm not doing any things like this. So they just try, and this guy was Swiss. So they're trying again to make an immigrant responsible for the deeds of the Swiss. And this is what they always do here. You know. And in that article here, Swissy lies about everything as usual. Compares me with a Swiss gunman who shot back at a counter-terrorist squad insinuates I'm a psychopath and talk about new measures and a national database to enable to put dangerous YouTube psychopath uh, away in a psychiatric ward forever before they can make any more for Switzerland dangerous YouTube videos. Oh, this is their plan, you know, it's, uh, it's a multifunctional plan, you know, to, with, with the... Um, with the uh, the newspapers backing it all up, you know, it's 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 like Nazi Germany, really. Yeah. And um, well, we all know they were behind Nazi Germany. And here, Christoph, the uh, the Justice Director, you know, he's behind it too. SVP, uh, the uh, the Swiss Nazi Party. I call him the uh, the Switler, Schwitlerische Volkspartei. You know from Mr. Adolf Switler. And here again, in another newspaper, B.O. Berner Oberland, Oberlander. So, Oberland. I think there was an SS division by that name. And again, you know, talking about me, the South African here, uh, the immigrant is, is guilty, YouTube. I think Swissy is very afraid of YouTube, you know. In, that's the principle here. They were always backed up by all the media and uh, that portrayed Switzerland as clean and, you know, and innocent. But now there's YouTube and the U.S. First Amendment. So um, all, all other things are like popping up, you know. They're, finally, they're not so, um, so neutral at all. It's all neutrality swindle. So they just want to, um, to smother the... Uh, free speech. That's what it is. So here you can see the new pile and uh, almost half an inch thick rubbish indictment actually now in which several state attorneys being concerned to lock me up for a long time using the German words Vollstreckung meaning to execute a prison sentence. So a cop hits you, lies things together and then in Switzerland the victim of these crimes, if you're an immigrant well, he goes to prison. The Swiss justice mafia also ties, tries to blackmail me and say, if I don't take off my videos, I'll receive punishment, plus money to be paid by that Swiss authority mafia in the very same way mafias work. They also talk about vorsorgliche Maßnahmen, which means vorsorglich to take care of, and Maßnahmen means actions like a mafia and they're literally announcing actions to take care of me. Probably one starting to steal my computer as they've done before in 2011 so I cannot make any more historical analysis about Octagon Switzerland. Two put me in prison to entirely isolate me and my work and three ultimately take care of me in one of their Swiss torture detention centers and do what Swiss cops have already threatened me to do if I wouldn't stop talking about Octagon Switzerland in both the indictment nor the Swiss newspapers they don't utter a word about the numerous severe crimes against humanity done against me and my family including 18 years terror, murder, kidnapping of two of our children one dead, the other gone. So I just want transparency so I'm gonna film some of these incredible things here so um, there will stay some evidence and people will see this like on the internet well there's, there's really nothing more left you know than the internet and YouTube for you know help or transparency in this utterly Nazi corrupt Swiss fascist state where they just do what they want 
So first of all the first paper of the um, of the half an inch uh, pile indictment. Here's a lawyer, you know, who's working for the cops, and it is from Bergdorf, you see. Uh, and I told you this this is the place where the cop regressed me on orders. And Bergdorf has a as I showed you in my video about the uh, the Duke Hartwig um, von Hund. Radovsky, they have a very long tradition of Nazism and um, um, crimes uh, against uh, racism and well they've been talking for at least 200 years there uh, to eradicate certain uh, ethnicities in Europe which was done finally during the Second World War and these writings uh, about uh, of these um, races here in this place um, are being read now by academics like Swiss judges and higher policemen and um, of whom most of them who are like officers they are in the um, in Freemason lodges you know and uh, yeah so here this is the um, so this is like here it says um, this is February February 12 2015 so that's now and this is the Amthaus, this is the torture center, torture detention, the detention center in Switzerland where they also, where I was tortured and where they uh, tortured to death uh, that Austrian guy. So this is, you know, the banks are, are behind it anyway, you know. So, and then here, first of all, this is about searching the premises in, um, so that was in um, 2011. And I just wanted to show you, well here are some addresses, they put me in this prison as well. I saw all the old, so it's Mr. S. Moser, that's the, the state attorney. Um, because of, this is completely illegal, you know, because of, here it says, House Durchsuchungsbefehl, that means searching the premises, or house search. So this is when the counter-terrorist police came, put three guns in my head, and to intimidate me. Um, as the maker of the video said, well, this it's a Tarantino spin-off. Here we can see the logo of the aristocracy. I mean, why is there a crown on it? You know, where, where, where is the direct democracy? Or the democ democ democratatorship? The bear, as in John? <laughs> I mean, I've shown you in my, in my last video just before that it's, you know, they, they're in the White House. The Swiss crown and the bear, they're in the White House, you know. So, here's the other side of it. So, this is Mafia Practices. And somebody asked me for the name on the internet, uh, can you give me the name of the attorney who, who signed it? Well, his name is S. Moser. Like Moser, almost like the, the famous German Nazi rifle. S. Moza. And, uh, wow. And there's that lawyer there who doesn't do a thing. No, uh, they're all Swiss anyway. So I'm going to open it up. Well, don't worry, I'm not going to show it all to you. Just some, it's, it's, about, it's rubbish anyway. And, uh, so maybe one day somebody will read it when I'm dead and gone and destroyed maybe my kids will want to read it you know uh, really there's nothing else you know than just YouTube and the internet and uh, th this is the rape of justice anyway and uh, here they talk about other videos you know like from other YouTubers like here uh, Marino Delfino uh, the Swiss police assaulted Doc Ross. So, but don't worry, guys. You know, don't be afraid. A bunch of criminals, anyway. Um, so you know, this is where humanity is. You know, we we ending up like you know, like you know. I mean, where's free speech? And uh, 
it says I'm from South Africa and uh, uh, after this I'll show you an interesting part of a video which I shot in 2011 I never published it before so this is the um, the lawyer Ernst Reber who's working for the police they don't care you know they well I mean they just want to put foreigners away and it's it, this guy is from Bergdorf you know and um, uh, so here's some more Swiss criminals he's the uh, the the president of the court the ex president Mr. Bacci I heard he's a queer too well these Apparently the queers, they don't like normal people anyway. And that's what I've experienced with the Swiss authorities here. It's probably not allowed to say that as well. But these criminals can just do what they want apparently. Here they talk some more about YouTube uh, in San Bruno, California. So, I mean, they know it, that I published it under the laws, the First Amendment in America. So there's nothing they, you know, it's, it's, it's entirely against the law what they're doing here. And here it is again, the President of the Court, Mr. Batchey. Um, highly organized criminals. And hey, some more just goes on and it goes on and it goes on, you know, it's, it's, it's not even worth reading. But apparently it's very important to them. Yeah. So, um, so I'm not going to bother you with it all. But uh, this part is interesting, it's called Vollstreckungsmaßnahmen. That means execution of a, of a prison sentence. So that's where they're working at. So that's quite important, which is happening now again. It's 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 another court president of the court, Mr. Bela. Well, bunch of criminals you are. So this is what you know the aim is, you know, put all immigrants in prison. And especially if you open up your mouth. Of course here it's all about money. Switzerland is all about money. They talk about more about money. They just want money, money, money. And here they talk more about money. Nazi gold, you know, all the money went here. This is where the financial elitists, they even talk about Alex Jones, maybe he dropped a complaint and indictment against me as well. Oh, he's Swiss anyway. I love Switzerland. I want a Swiss state. And here's real blackmail, you know, to, I think this is from 2000. Then. But 13 or 12 or I don't know, they, well anyway they just send it to me now here again. And this is real mafia blackmail, it says if I don't take the videos off, um, they're gonna give me more terror, you know, treat me as a criminal, lock me in, have me pay money, so it's, it's like a mafia, you know, do this or otherwise, you know, um, it's completely illegal. They shouldn't have done it, what they did, you know, 18 years of terror. So now I'm opening up my mouth, you know, like um, publishing things about this. And um, it's hard to kill a word. Hey, Swissy, it's hard to kill the word. Yeah, and here they talk about vorsorgliche Maßnahmen verfahren. So that means vorsorglich to take care of and Maßnahme to... Um, to execute an order or action. So they're going to take care of me, it says, literally. Nice, eh? Swiss Mafia. Well, here's some more, you know, showing YouTube videos, you know, of some of them I made. This is about the uh, where the Swiss uh, Nazis burned down with some people dead uh, last year, the end of the year. Um, on November the 17th, the, 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 the Luxor massacre in Geneva, they burned down a, uh, uh, an asylum seeker home, killing people. And this is happening all the time. So instead of investigating this, no, what did they do? They're trying to forbid my video. 
I mean, for God's sake, you can see the cop, you know, hitting me. Well, what is his hand doing there anyway, you know? So this is the, the, uh, the famous uh, new video of Polizei Altraum and Glorious Justice. So they're making, they're trying to make me responsible for that. And this is Marino Delfin, Delfino. Uh, again, the cop assaulting me. You, the evidence is there, you can all see it. So don't worry, Marino Delfino, you're a great guy. And um, this is a sign that we are talking the truth here and we found out some things too much. So don't have yourself, you know, like blackmailed by these Swiss criminals. And I like you. I like Marino Delfino. Thanks, guy. And um, well, it goes, there's more, you know, it's all, it's all censorship. And at the same time, you know, they're using it for several laws. Uh, they're calling it apology uh, of a crime. <laughs> I mean, I didn't shoot that cop, eh? I shouldn't lie things, you know, on, on orders. So the apology of a crime is actually this. You know, go on terrorizing me, and um, which is lying things together, using, using the state's authority and the newspapers, in which lies the real apology of a crime against me and my family. And this is the slander. This evil cop talking lies about me, all backed up by Swissy and their authorities. This is the slander. I'm not a criminal, Swissy. I'm not all these other things you're telling me and talking about. I'm not a criminal. You get it? And... Um, I'm not the psychopath either, as you're trying to, you know, that, that, that would be a solution to, to the crimes you've been doing, eh? Just give me a stamp of being a, a psychopath, you know, then, well, I mean, I was talking rubbish anyway, eh? That would be a solution, another witch hunt. And um, at the same time, they're trying to push in new laws about the database, putting psychopaths, you know, YouTube psychopath from South Africa in prison and the rest as well and this is where we, it's, it's all actually happening we can see the same thing in France uh, after the Charlie Hebdo thing and in, uh, in the US with the, uh, the Patriot Act and uh, well, this is their goal what do you want? the apology of a crime and the database for to put people away before you know just based upon other thing you know that's what they're working on. Total control to push humanity down. Can't say a word anymore. Just bow down and you know receive the blows. You know, just just get the max load. But don't open up your mouth. And against drugs, child molesters and banksters, the Swiss Nazi police doesn't do a thing. As you can see here in these old videos with my old mini DV camera from 2011 of drugs crime right next to the Bern police station. Just 100 meters, 100 yards away. Instead of that, they terrorize innocent families with lies, murder and premeditated police violence with slander on immigrants like on me with uh, an apology of crime like in my case, they do with me and with hate speech, all the murder threats I'm getting and the lies of the police. These are the true, this is the true hate speech which is happening here and the true apology of a crime. And um, excuse me the footage, I did it, it was dark, I did it with my old mini DV. And as I'm such a jerk with the internet, nobody's helping me with it. Uh, the only thing I can do is uh, is 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 videotape uh, the screen. I just film the image here. Uh, the only thing I can do with my um, uh, HD camera is put the uh, USB uh, connection into the computer, and um, that's about it, you know. So, well, here it is. Um, there we go. Says the bullen machen nix. Die alles drogen und verkaufen. Nichts machen sie. Und wenn du nichts machst, dann setzen sie dich drei Pistolen auf den Kopf wegen nichts. 
Und da stehen sie alle hier, Mann. Ganz ist voll hier damit. Ganz ist voll. Wir werden noch aggressiv. Wenn du da Nein sagst, wegen dieser Scheißdrogen. Ihr verdammte Polizisten. Ihr schützt Kinderficker und Drogendealer, Mann, ich sag's dir, ey. Ihr seid doch das letzte Abschauen, Mann, ey. Voll aggressiv werden die Typen auch noch. Nachher kommen sie noch. Überall, Mann. Überall. Fucking drugs. Überall. Und da kommen sie schon. Hahaha. Ja, Mann. Ja, ja. Ja, fahr, ja. Oh, fem, fem, fem. Aggressiv, ey. Hast du gesehen, Mann? Hast du das gesehen? Da kommen sie, da kommen sie, schau. Ja, klar. Schau. Fem, fem, Mann. Das ist irgendwie aggressiv, ey. Das ist mal ein Araber mit dieser Scheißdroge. Und Polizei? Nirgendwo. So, this was uh, right, uh, not very long after I was arrested by the counter-terrorist squad, so... Um, I was still quite in an agitated mood because of this and shortly after I decided not to go out anymore alone. Uh, I really had to. So I was with the German guy in the car here and it was about 10 or 11, no, I think 10 or 11ish in the evening only. I mean, young kids walking around there as well, you know, and all. And when we tried to, to videotape the drug dealers, they even attacked us, you know trying to smash the window, throw things at the car, so we, so we had to go get out of there quite quickly before, before like getting stabbed with a knife in the back, you know. And um, the police, you know, and it, it, you can't even defend yourself because you're the one who, going, who is going to prison, you know. If you, it's, it's a good deal, you know, for the police and the, the cocaine import agency. It's, it's the police themselves who are... And the authorities who are getting an octagon, the Templars who are getting the drugs inside. It's them all right, you know. So, excuse me, the bad footage. And um, so this is right near to the Swiss police, the main police station in the capital. Just 100 yards away or 200 yards away, not more. And they don't do a thing. Instead of that, you know, they're writing pages and pages after page and terrorize innocent families and because they're earning a, a big buck through the drug business the freemasons and i mean the taliban in uh the, the muslim taliban they completely abolished drugs in in 2001 and there were no more i, I showed you the statistics in one of the other movies with this stuff you know that um trying to destroy our kids and Terrible, terrible, terrible. I hate drugs. I, it's evil. And the evil Swiss police, they are, they are in it. Nowhere to see. And if you see how much effort they put in it, you know, 18 years of terror against me and my family. We are no criminals, you know. I've, I've never done anything criminal in my life. They are the criminals. And so much effort they put in it and compared to that there's no single cop to see and uh, not even a camera you know the, the drug dealers they can do what they want you know and I saw it as a non-criminal that they put me in prison for altogether for a year almost a year I think it was 11 months or something and uh, full with innocent people and the drug dealers when they came in one or two days they were out I saw it with my own eyes it's all a big lie. And Switzerland is all about money anyway. Nazi money, Nazi gold. It's it's just about money. The financial elite is all here. And, uh, well. 
And be aware, if you dare to speak about it on the internet, then the Swiss Mafia Omerta will take care of you. Religious Christian people once told me that the devil doesn't want to be spoken about, so people ne neglect his existence. And this is so typical for Switzerland. Nobody speaks about Switzerland and their crimes against humanity. And the media just portray this base of all evil as clean and neutral. And no government on earth will ever act against Octogon, as the Swiss Templars issue all orders to their worldwide web of masonry on all key positions in the world. Just as Christians believe that Satan doesn't want to be mentioned. Myself, I'm not religious. But I fight the forces of darkness. Maybe because I'm not religious and I'm not waiting until some god is going to do it, but I'll try to do something myself.